Can you believe it's been eight months since Matter 1.0 was first released all the way back in October of 2022? And it's been six months since I first took a look at testing Matter and I made a video on testing Matter and trying to connect all Matter devices and see how it generally worked. And spoiler, it didn't. That video was a huge fail and I just couldn't get anything to work at all. I spent hours trying to get it to work and it just wouldn't. And I know other content creators have had similar issues with it. But two weeks ago, Matter 1.1 was released. So that was the update or the very first update to Matter. So I want to take a look and see how things have progressed, if they have progressed, uh, and see how the, the system works and how the uh, standard works and if we can connect Matter devices together and see what is actually working. So over here, I have various smart home platforms. So we have Amazon, we have Google Home, we have the HomePod, and we have the Samsung SmartThings Hub. Uh, and of course we do have Home Assistant that we're gonna try as well. So I wanna try connecting all of these together and see how they work. In the middle, we have some hubs from Akara and SwitchBot that have the Matter firmware. So these are running Matter firmware uh, to see if we can connect them to these platforms and see if we can get them talking to each other and do different things. And then we have some actual devices over here. So we have blinds, curtains, curtain drivers, uh, contact sensor, motion sensor, various devices. So let's go ahead and actually try and get things going this time. The first thing I want to actually try is to connect the new SwitchBot Hub 2, which has the Matter firmware on it. I want to try and connect that into Google Home because that was the one that was kind of had the most potential to work last time. I kind of did get it a little bit working and then it just stopped randomly. So that's one I think we'll have the most success with, if any. Um, so let's try that first. So. In the SwitchBot app, we're gonna go into the hub and then we should, yeah, matter configuration. And it should pop up with the QR code. And then we're gonna say, not connected, press and hold both buttons for 15 seconds. Oh, okay, look at that, That my, my phone popped up saying, do you want to connect? So as soon as I turn on pairing mode on the hub, it pops up on my phone, which is definitely a lot more uh, progress than we made last time. So we're gonna say scan QR code, paste in the QR code there. So it's worth saying, well, that's connecting that I do have the SwitchBot blind and the SwitchBot curtain both connected to my SwitchBot Hub 2. I did that previously. Um, so currently the SwitchBot Hub 2 just at, cause, because it's in beta, it only supports the blind and the curtain just to kind of let you test things. Um, so there will be more devices coming and you should be able to add all of the SwitchBot devices to the SwitchBot Hub 2. But at the moment, just while it's in beta, you can only do the blind and the curtain. Is it gonna work? Just thinking about it. It does take a little while. Hmm. I'm starting to have my doubts already. <laughs> Okay, let, let's, let's, let's try it again before writing it off. Okay, matter configuration, press and hold both. Okay, pair code, come on. Hey, it worked. So we've already made more progress than the last video. Okay, so now if we go over into devices, uh, hello. So there's a bridge now, which is, I presume the SwitchBot hub. And then we've got two sensors. This may be the temperature and humidity. It might be pulling them through, which would be pretty cool. So I think it'll just be refreshing the status of those, uh, which might just take a few minutes. But I believe if you go back to the SwitchBot app now, it's showing connected up at the top here, which is good. Uh, and then we need to add our secondary devices. Ah, uh, I always forget, is it my XL wand or my big, huge wand? Uh, I think we'll go big, huge one. That should be, that should be it. Back to Google Home. It does show up on the display as a device. So we're making progress. <laughs> Small progress, it's still, it's progress, it's progress. Oh, oh look. So now we have the uh, temperature, temperature and humidity showing up as well as our blind driver. Does it work? Hey. We actually controlled a device. So we have a, a matter device actually being controlled and working properly and reliably and actually pretty quickly like it should be. Cool. So next thing I want to do is try and share, or wait, should we try and add the Akara hub into say Home Assistant instead? Let's try that. 
I've got a good feeling about this now. Copy the pairing code and that should now be in pairing mode. And if we go over into Home Assistant, add matter device, and then set up without QR code. Paste in the QR code and hopefully, maybe, it's in the hands of the matter god now. Hey, do you see how fast that was? Yeah, current driver, door window sensor, motion sensor, and then the matter bridge. It's even got the battery percentage for each one. Pretty cool. Uh, so we, can we actually control this? Hey, home assistant works now too. Sick. Contact sensor. Hey, that's super quick. Damn, we're making so much more progress than we did last time. That's actually like really fast. That's like as, as fast as I would expect, uh, like native Zigbee. So it connected directly into home assistant to be. So yeah, sick. Okay, so we have two uh, individual hubs working with two individual platforms. Now I wonder if we try and share, uh, share devices, like what we're supposed to be able to do. Start off with the SwitchBot Hub 2 and we maybe try and share that with say HomeKit because that was another one that was pretty close to working last time but it didn't quite work. So I should be able to go into the Google Home app and go into uh, linked matter apps and services and then we should be able to click on link apps and services and then scroll over to share with QR code. And then that gives us a QR code and tells us it's gonna expire in three minutes. So now add accessory. It's the moment of truth. Connecting. Yay, and just like that, it's added now. Temperature and humidity are passing through also. That's a good sign. Can we toggle that? Hello? Closing? Nice. Closed, closed, closing. Nice, are they both updated. I wonder if we can then share this one to Home Assistant as well. Okay, so is that added? I think it has, eight devices. So the SwitchBot one's not quite as nice. You see how it adds SwitchBot Hub 2, which is good. And then just gives type, type, type for the different devices. Whereas the Akara one actually kind of pre-populates or pre-names them, which is pretty cool. So a little bit of uh, funniness going on there, but now we have our blind and we can toggle it. And yeah, it reflects in there immediately. Uh, let's have all three open. Google Home, in the middle we have Home Assistant and on the right hand side we have HomeKit. So we should be able to toggle from any of those and it will immediately show up. So toggle, opening, opening, nice, it's working. Hey. But if we go to the middle, nice. See how fast that is on updating between all of them? No matter which one you operate from, it'll update on the others to say that something's happening. And it's, yeah, it's all pretty, it's all really quick. There's no like five, 10 second delay, which I thought there was gonna be. It's all like within a second really. Yeah, that's sick. I wonder if we can now add this on smart things also. The SwitchBot Hub 2 and I guess other matter bridges do have a limit in terms of how many devices or how many uh, different platforms you can bridge with them with. I think it's somewhere around four or five. Uh, so we may not be able to add it to smart things, but we'll give it a go. This isn't a matter certain device. Okay, so this is because it's on uh, beta firmware, so we can just ignore that. Okay, so it says connected. I don't see any of the devices. It adds the SwitchBot Hub 2 without an issue, but it doesn't actually bring in, or show any of the devices. Uh, I know the Matter integration on SmartThings is a little bit newer than some of the others. It hasn't been out as long, so maybe they're still working on actually adding the devices, or maybe there's only certain devices they support. I'm not sure what's going on there. It doesn't seem like the SmartThings one is compatible, at least with the SwitchBot Hub yet, which is a bit of a shame. And finally, let's try Alex, uh, not Alex, Amazon, Amazon. Oh, interesting. So that one comes up saying, this device can't connect to Amazon. Uh, so I guess it's not quite compatible. Again, I think Amazon was a bit newer than some of the others, than Google and Apple on adding Matter support. So maybe they're still working on integrating that stuff. But we do have three out of the five working so far, which is way better than what we achieved last time. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Let's try and now add the Akara and kind of share that one with all of the different platforms. 
Home Assistant hasn't yet got support for the share button or doesn't have a share button inside of the UI yet. Like we saw when we added the SwitchBot through the Google Home app, you can use that share button inside of there. But instead you can come into the Matter integration and then we should be able to hit plus and then copy the pair code or actually we should just be able to scan the QR code from the HomeKit app. Blinds, the contact sensor, the motion sensor. So everything is actually pulling through from the Akara side. Uh, so you can add various different devices through the Akara side. There doesn't seem to be different types you can add. Of course, they have to be supported by Matter. So not all device types are supported by Matter. But if they are, then it seems like the Akara can pull them through and actually use them, which is pretty cool. And of course, we should be able to add it into Google Home. Oh, okay, so it immediately just discovered the hub uh, automatically and we can just hit continue and paste in that QR code. So it seems like the auto discovery and uh, just the connection process is a lot better than what we saw before. So there's been huge work put into, into making this a lot more reliable, which is pretty cool to see. Just while that's connecting, I've also worked with uh, Marcel on the Home Assistant. So Marcel is the lead developer for Matter on Home Assistant. And we've talked back and forth quite a bit uh, on getting various devices working. And I've been uh, trying to give debug logs and yeah, he's been really helpful on, on getting Matter working and helping me get some Matter devices working. So he's been putting in a lot of effort on the Home Assistant side, which is really cool to see. And we've had sort of a long discussion about how Matter works and um, and the, the limitations and downfalls it currently has. Um, and from what I kind of understand, it's still a bit messy, um, but again, it is really new and it's still being actively worked on and there's always gonna be bugs and always gonna be troubles at the very beginning, but it does seem like it's moving on along really nicely. Should be them on all three platforms. Let's try and add the Akara one to SmartThings and Amazon just to see if a different device works. SmartThings just comes up and says something went wrong. That might be a limitation of how many platforms you can have connected at once maybe. Let's try uh, Amazon. Oh, okay, so we get a different message this time. Is this device set up for another control? Yes. Amazon isn't working, it's just giving me, getting me into a loop of asking me for the QR code continuously, but then asking me other questions. It just keeps going around in circles. Okay, so Amazon's out of this completely, but we do have it working on Google Home, HomeKit, and Home Assistant again. So it seems to be those three that are the best or the most compatible at the moment. And let's just test the speed between all three of them once again. Okay, so once again, we have Google Home, we have Home Assistant, and we have Home Kit. So we have the contact sensor, contact sensor, and the contact sensor here. So. Okay, Google Home took quite a while there, but these two were pretty fast. Yeah, Google Home takes a little bit of a long time to update with the, with this, but these two are fast. That's like five seconds on here. These are instant. So Home Assistant, Home Kit, definitely instant. Google Home takes a little bit longer with the contact sensor. Uh, what about the curtain? It's close, fast. Okay, so the curtain seems to work fine. It's just the contact sensor that's a bit slow. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I know this seems like really basic stuff if you're into Home Assistant, but just seeing the progress from the last time I tried it, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I just, it was complete disaster. Uh, but the seeing the progress from back then to now is actually really cool uh, and how much uh, more seamless and how much better things just work in this. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I have to say that was a much better experience than what we had last time uh, in the previous video. Everything pretty much works smoothly apart from over on Amazon and the SmartThings side, but I imagine these are gonna continue to get better. Being able to control a device on one screen and it reacting on the other screen and then being able to control on this one and it reacting on the other one, that's really cool to see and certainly huge, huge, huge progress on where they were before. So yeah, credit where credit is due. Uh, there has been a lot of progress made with Matter and yeah, really cool to see. Uh, and hope to see, or hope to hope it keeps progressing and we, we keep seeing improvements. Like I mentioned, Matter 1.1 was released a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, uh, and that didn't add any new devices. It was kind of just more 
uh, bug fixes and that type of thing. We didn't see any new types of devices added, which was a real shame and we were hoping to see, but that didn't happen. Uh, hopefully we will see more devices added because that is the real limitation at the moment is there is only certain device types you can actually use and add with it, uh, which kind of limits its use. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was a good demo of how Matter has progressed. The Home Assistant integration has had huge leaps forward in terms of how it works. So has the Google Home one and so has the HomeKit one. All three are working really well uh, and yeah, really cool to see. I love being able to control a device on one platform and seeing it react on another and then controlling it over here and seeing it react over here. Really cool to see. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how much further we got this time than we did last time. I was kind of expecting to get a little bit further but still not have it work as well as that. So leave a comment down below if you were as surprised as me on how well it works and yeah, Drop a comment down below also if you want me to do more Matter videos or what you want me to cover in future Matter videos also. Uh, yeah, really interested to hear your thoughts down below. Make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. All right.